the only way I could get the money for my drugs, I was basically bragging my mother for it and, and kind of asking to lend money and, and all the rest of it. And um, this pretty soon became obvious because I was asking for more and more. Like I say, I was doing a tenth of smack a day, which is like 45 pounds, which is a, a fair bit of money when it gets up to that amount. But it was through a, I suppose, misguided love that my mother couldn't say no to me, even when she realised what it was for. Absolutely hated addiction. To see what it had done to my son. But I knew the fact that he was still using at that time was a necessity. Because he was so ill, if he had been withdrawing as well, I'm sure he would have died. He was in such a terrible state. I don't think that his body could have coped with that as well. I really don't. So I think it was an evil, but it was just to exist. So I was putting pressure on my mum. She was giving me money she couldn't afford to. And um, my addiction was just getting worse. I knew that I knew, needed to do something about it and I really wanted to stop. And I think the turning point came one day when she was driving me somewhere to score. And I gave her back the money, told her to turn the car around and said I didn't want to get it. And uh, that was what we did, turned around. And I did my cluck from there and that was a Christmas week. Kev's decision to stop taking drugs was helped by his increasing faith in Christianity. A friend who had provided great support for Kev got him in touch with a Christian residential rehab called Livingstones. It was arranged that Kev would visit the rehab. And when I was chatting to uh, two of the lads who were on that course, I, um, I had this like, kind of amazing feeling come over me of like a peaceful, happy, content kind of feeling, which uh, was just awesome. You know, I hadn't felt, kind of felt happy and content in years and years since I was you know, really young. So I knew straight away that I wanted to come to this place. I changed my mind. I uh, told uh, Tom, the manager, that, yeah, you know, I want to come and I want to kind of come right now. Something just changed in him. Um, call it a message from God. I don't know what. But I, I believe that something came over him and helped him on his way. He already had a faith, but something changed. There was something more that happened with him. And, it, well, it's wondrous. And from that time on, things just got better and better. When Kev left hospital, he was on a methadone reduction scheme of 120 milligrams of methadone. The normal policy at Livingstones is that clients should be off any substitute prescriptions before entering the programme. However, it was agreed that Kev could start the course immediately and a methadone reduction scheme was put together by Kev and the project manager. 